John Nuttall and Amanda Cordy leave the BC Supreme Court in Vancouver today, free for the first time in three years. John, anything to say? No, guys, no comment, okay? What's first on your list, John? Get in a cab and drive away from here. Okay. Amanda? I'm gonna go wherever he goes. The pair was convicted of planting homemade pressure cooker bombs outside the Victoria Legislature in 2013. They first came to the attention of the RCMP through tips that Natal was espousing violent Islamic beliefs. Mounties launched an operation involving more than 200 officers, featuring an undercover agent who posed as an Arab businessman and who befriended and directed Natal. They filmed him on a number of occasions, suggesting and preparing for an attack. Yeah, that's what they used in the Boston bombings. That's the same bomb they used. The couple were recovering drug addicts, self-radicalized and unsophisticated. You could always kill someone with a drill. Officers ensured the bombs were duds and then arrested the couple after they planted them. But their convictions were put on hold while the judge decided if they had been entrapped or if police were guilty of abuse of process. Today, she said yes to both, writing, the police engaged in a multifaceted and systematic manipulation of the defendants to induce them into committing a terrorist offense. She said they didn't have any specific plan when the police operation began and that they didn't have the mental capacity to plan one or carry it out themselves. Their lawyers are relieved. Well, it was a stinging indictment of a, a very misguided and ill-considered uh, police operation. The Crown Prosecutor says he still believes the two are a risk. These are two individuals who have the ideology, they have the motivation, they demonstrated that because, let's face it, they did do it and they meant it. This is the first finding in Canada of police entrapment in a terror case. This criminal defense lawyer calls it an astounding decision. The fact that the judge found entrapment at all, all three levels that were possible and found that the police conduct was an abusive process uh, really uh, creates an uphill battle for the Crown in terms of an appeal. The Crown has already filed an appeal and in fact, Rob, this afternoon another twist. The couple was re-arrested because the Public Prosecution Service has applied for a peace bond. But their lawyers say they've been released again and are set to make a court appearance in September.